Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. Today we're going to talk about pixel art. So for those who are not familiar with the term pixel art, um, it's essentially just creating really low resolution images in, in my opinion. Uh, and most commonly found in applications such as video games, uh, like 2D side scrollers. Now there's two aspects to pixel art. I think that one could cover. There is pixel art in terms of the method, which is essentially just creating art at the pixel level. So literally coloring in one pixel at a time. And then there's pixel art at the level of um, it being an art, meaning you know to be able to create three dimensionality or the appearance of gradients and all those things. Um, there's you know using dithering and other techniques. There's there's a very specific way and a very specific kind of artistic methodology that's necessary to be able to, you know, create such detailed images with very little detail. So that's not what I'm going to cover. I'm just going to cover some ways that we can uh, more easily do pixel art in PaintShop Pro. There are other free online tools like pixelart.com and Pisco, which is more of a sprite creator. So you could check those out. But what's going to follow is just some tips that I have if you're planning to do pixel art in PaintShop Pro. So let's get to it. So to get started with the first technique, uh, what I just want to show is uh, some tips on how to just do direct painting on a very low resolution image on a pixel basis. So the first thing we want to do is create a new image. Uh, since pixel art is typically very small images, very low resolution, uh, we're going to be starting with a 15 by 15 in pixels image. So then what we'll see is that if we zoom in, you know, this is a very, very tiny image. Um, and then even straight away, just at this point, if you pick your paintbrush and you set the size to one um, and you start just drawing individual pixels, uh, you're essentially doing pixel art. This is this is what pixel art is all about. Now, one thing I'll say as we get into this is uh, what was, is helpful is to be able to bring up the palettes and overview panel. I have never found this panel to be useful for much of anything uh, in most of the stuff that I do. But in this case, what's nice about it is that as you are creating things, if you're zoomed in and you know you're you're trying to do you're trying to do all of your you know very low level decisions on where pixels are you can always get a sense of how it looks you know more in terms of its original resolution by using this overview window Another recommendation I would make is, um, you know, with a blank canvas, for example, you, you, you can't really visually get a sense of where your pixels are going to go until you kind of hover your cursor over it. Uh, but what you can also do is go to grids, guides, and snap properties and change the current image grid to one and one pixel. And then when you turn on the grid, what you'll see is you now have a nice reference of where are all the locations where you're going to paint. So if you were trying to, for example, paint a diagonal line, right, you have that sort of nice reference of how all those pixels line up. And in the same way that, you know, painting black is like drawing, painting white on this canvas is like erasing, you know, you're just operating at the pixel level. Now, since we're using PaintShop Pro, um, we can leverage all of the benefits of what PaintShop Pro provides. So you can add layers. You can work on separate layers. And it'll give you some flexibility from that point of view. You could also use vector tools like the pen tool or the shapes tool. One thing to keep in mind when working with vector objects or some of these tools is aliasing is always going to cause, you know, the 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 loss of sharpness because aliasing is really meant for much higher resolution images. So uh, whenever you're finding yourself working with shapes or doing anything like that, you'll want to keep that in mind that if you don't want that blurring effect, you got to turn aliasing off. So I'll just doodle a little bit on this guy and just try to replicate sort of the example watermelon picture that I found and then we'll move on to technique two.
All right, so there's my marginally passable watermelon pixel art. Okay, so now for the second approach, uh, this is where if you want to start with a reference image for your pixel art. Uh, in my case, this would be my preference. As you can see, I'm not very good at doing pixel art just straight from nothing. Um, but uh, so what we're going to be doing is resizing, you know, some type of image. And uh, there is a very specific way to do that. So that's what I'm going to cover. But just to simplify kind of what's going on and the work we're going to do, I've already separated this clip art plane from its background, as you can see, but we're going to resize both of them. So uh, to do this, we're going to go to image resize. And um, again, just in terms of, you know, following sort of the pixel art approach, uh, you know, it's going to be a very low resolution image. So we're going to bring this down, say 30, around 30, and making sure that the, um, you know, dimensions we're referring to are in by pixels units. Now, the, the key part, though, is in what type of resampling we're going to be using for the resize and I think typically by default it's going to be smart size which is uh, it's it's kind of helpful because uh, depending on whether you're trying to shrink something or you're trying to increase something uh, you might use a different uh, approach by cubic versus by linear or some of these others um, and and a lot of times what that involves is just how much aliasing is applied now in our case Or at least in this particular example. I don't want any aliasing to occur I want the image to appear as sharp uh, as it is right now in the clip art, but just very pixelated So for that approach what we want to do is choose pixel resize so small dimensions pixel resize hit ok and then we'll zoom in so that we can see this guy, but you can already kind of see it in the overview window, like I mentioned. And so there you have it. So now we have at least a starting point, but, you know, based on kind of what the original image looked like, you know, there's some parts of it that I do or, you know, don't kind of like. And this is where the artistic side can come in, where, you know, if I wanted to kind of maintain that sort of hump in the front, uh, you know, I can erase some of these parts in the back. Uh, etc. If I want this dip down to be a little bit more prominent. Maybe you don't like the jet engine part anymore, so you could erase that and then the wing becomes a little bit more obvious. Um, again, just looking, you know, editing here, but you know, always checking here to review, is it heading in the direction that you want it to go? One other thing that's nice about pixel art, uh, just in the way that it is, uh, is that um, since especially in cases like this where there is no aliasing and everything is just very specific block sizes uh, We can very easily resize this uh, Without losing any resolution if you will so we can go to image resize and as long as we keep this pixel resize as our resampling we can bring this thing all the way back up to I don't know something that's like HD almost level quality and what you'll see is that it looks exactly the same, except now it's much larger in resolution. And that's basically all I got in terms of pixel art. Um, like I mentioned, there are other tools, but if you do want to use Paint Shop Pro for doing pixel art, these are just some of the tips and recommendations I would make. And that's it for me on this one. If you have any questions or would like to suggest content, feel free to leave a comment. If you'd like to get updates of new content I post, click the subscribe button. If you'd like to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon page, which is on the link on the screen. And I'll see you guys next time.